Oh, you guys, they're BFFs. They're besties. Well, listen, I, as we've seen, there are some very interesting dynamics that can play out when people from the same guild, people who are very familiar with one another, do battle because there's so many layers. There's so much familiarity with their monster box, with their tendencies, with their favorite and least favorite monsters. So what are we looking forward to out of Truffles and Tiger here? I think they're going to bring it either way. Of course, they're best friends, and I understand that completely. You know, you build bonds with people throughout several years of playing the game with each other. But and they're both going to world, so obviously a little bit less yeah. pressure on, but there's a $1,000 difference but again, in prize money. It's $1,000. It's a show, and they're going to give they're going to give the fans a good show, I'm sure. I'm predicting three match. Oh no, I'm predicting five matches on this one because this is matches. a best of five match coming. Who do you think is going to come out on top? Give us an answer. Oh, don't do, don't oh you man, dare be Switzerland do again. Oh, 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 come on! You know I had to throw it in there, man. There's just no way I could pick one. These are two exceptional opponents here, uh, coming from the guild uh, malicious once again. So again, whoever wins, it's going to be a great match. Now, if I if I recall correctly, it was you who picked Shuffles over Sin Booty in the first round. Um, was it childish? I think it was. You it was picked Childish. Childish. Okay, so Chuffles is your guy. Chuffles came through, beat Sin Booty. If you can get through Sin Booty, why not take, uh, you know, that position that Chuffles can get through Tiger as well? I know Tiger has supposedly got the nod over Sin Booty, but, you know, he's proven his mettle. Yeah, he has proven it. And, I'm, I'm, again, I, I don't take it either way for any of these opponents here, but Chuffles, wow, I hope he, I hope he could do it. I hope well, he could. time will tell, obviously, as we are. Staging things and ready for the finals. Again, $2,000 to first place, $1,000 to second place. Both of these guys heading to the Worlds in Los Angeles for a chance to compete against the other folks from around the world and be crowned the Summoner's War champion. It is a best of five matchup. Everyone has been waiting for this moment, including those of you at home streaming. So let's get right to it. First up is going to be Chuffle. Look at him, he's loving this, man. Big smile on his face, comfortable, ready to go. Saying what's up to the fans. And here comes Tiger. No sooner does he get backstage than we bring him right back out on the heels of that victory. And Tiger has been pushed to three games every single match that he's played so far. Chuffles, meanwhile, swept Sin Booty 2-1 to one over Asia Republic and then 2-1 to one over Goku to get here. And if I'm looking at things, it would appear to me that Chuffles has faced the stiffer competition on his way into the finals, and Tiger yet is the one who was pushed to three games in every single match that he played. Not sure what there is to be taken away from that, but a lot of people expected Tiger, the pre-tournament favorite, to just roll over the competition, and that hasn't happened. So we'll see how he approaches this best of five. Okay, right now, if I give the lead pick to Chuffles, who do you think he drafts? Usa. Say Usa. Don't look. I already looked. I'm so oh, sorry. Boo. <laughs> I thought he was going to do Sierra. Is it Sierra? I, you did. He's been doing Sierra quite a bit in this tournament here. So, again, he is a very, very fast opponent when it comes to this, uh, you know, monster box and whatnot. So, I, I, like the, I like the pick. And Tiger picking up that Perna. Yeah, Perna is always a solid choice into yep. a Sierra pick. But I'm sure we'll see Usa at some point today, even though I was wrong on this one. And so Childish is a little bit slow on the... Trigger there, unfortunately, didn't even give us an answer. I apologize. I got some issues. He likes to wait and see the pick, then tell us that that's who he thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As we see the Velojewel follow up from Tiger, and we go back over to Chuffles, who's got that uh, Tessarian, I think, yeah. coupled with Braha. 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 To remove the will. We've actually seen Chuffles use Praha in almost every fight so far. We've seen him use it a lot, actually, paired with Quad Amp, yeah. paired with Sierra a lot. So, a, a monster that, that he to like. Yeah, yeah. Double panda response out of Tiger. No, does not lock in, so it goes with the Mulong. And is that the Hathor? That is Sekhmet. Sekhmet. Ah, I see. It's kind of hard to see on our screen right here between the fire and the wind monsters, but yeah, that is definitely Sekhmet. And Tiger put that Sekhmet to work in his previous match as well, did he not? Yep, he definitely put it to work, of course, getting the first turn with Sekhmet and then following it up with a couple damage dealing monsters like he has showing right now with the Mulong and Perna. But it does look like we're going to see another combination from Truffles utilizing the Huad Am as well as Anava. Man, this is interesting. Those two healers paired with Huad Am could definitely keep Truffles alive for a very long time. Looking to make a real marathon out of this one, possibly, depending on the bands, obviously. Yeah, but 
Tiger in this situation, you would think that he's got to take out one specific monster because that's the one that's going to be hard to kill because of the sustainability, and, and I'm talking about Sierra here, mm -hmm. and that's the one that's going to be doing a lot of damage. So if I was Tiger, I would take out the Sierra. If I was Chuffles, though, I would probably remove either the Molon or the Perna. Yeah. I like the Sierra band. I probably would go that route. I'd probably go uh, Molong as well on the, on the left side. Tiger doing some calculations as he decides his last ban, and it actually drops down with Annabelle. So he decides to keep in the Sierra, yeah. which is an interesting tactic. Yeah. See how it works out for him in this one. I was going to say, he does have immunity on Tiger's end, but once again, we have that Braha here that can take away the immunity and provide some dots, some continuous damage, so leaving him open. I get the feeling Chuffles is just fine with that ban choice from yes. uh, Tiger. Yes. Yeah, absolutely, I agree 100% as well. We'll see if he can land the Charming Voice. He does get it down onto Sierra, and there goes the immunity buff from Veligewell. Not a single stun again from wow. Molong in this situation. Again, Tiger having some troubles with the accuracy. But here we go. Predicted future from Sierra. Able to land the Oblivion onto Perna. And then starts working away at the HP on Molong to take as little damage as possible from that Reckless Assault. Here it comes. I don't think he's going to do it just yet because he has that Hodam. Hodam. Yeah, yep, it's just going to yep. waste this his HP. On the right, correct, correct. I actually think Hodam is a huge counter to Molong, especially if you don't have any sort of sustainability right. from Tiger. Chopples is looking really, really good in this situation. Of course, with the bomb on Perna and Oblivion on Perna, that Perna is going down. Definitely. Getting the attack break on CR. They're not going to do as much damage, but of course, when it comes to CR and the bombs, the aspect of the stun in and of itself, I think that's the big crucial point here. Of now, Chuffles has got to be a little bit careful here because that Molan can definitely eat the Fodam. And now having the Tessarian with defense break and not able to be oh. healed, and he was wow. trying to go for it. Is here is. So Sierra doesn't land the bomb on Veljul either. Unbelievable. But Sekhmet's going to get the turn the for the Fodam, which wow. is definitely what he needed. Very and this is kind of going back and forth again, able to heal up the Sierra. But I think, I think Sierra is still going to be able to come back, yeah. take out a couple more monsters here with the bomb. This one's definitely in Chuffle's favor, especially with the bomb coming down now. There it is. Chuffle's looking really comfortable. That's why Sierra is such an amazing unit to be able to provide that damage, ignore defense, and do it on any element that Tiger brings. All smiles from Chuffles as he takes this first game now. No resignation out of Tiger. Well, Tiger is definitely taking his time. I'm, I'm sure you guys can all agree. Um, using his time wisely to kind of think what he can do to combat what Chuffles has, of course, already laid out first round. And there you have it. It went into overdrive toward the end there. Obviously, somewhat of a foregone conclusion once Chuffles was able to get up three to one. And now, if you're Tiger, back not up against the wall as it's a best of five, but you've seen your buddy counter sort of what you wanted to do, and these two are so in each other's heads and are so familiar with their monster boxes and their tendencies. What a... Well, it's interesting... From Tiger's perspective, he's been using a lot of LD Nat 5s throughout the entire match. We've seen Vivishell, we've seen uh, Tian Lang as well. He hasn't used a single one against Shuffle so far. Of course, it's only been the first game. But Tiger's been in this situation before where he's been down a match, and he's done just fine. He keeps his composure perfectly, and he does take the Sierra away from Shuffle, though. So this whole match might be a, a battle of who gets the Sierra first. Yeah. Vivichel is Tiger's favorite character. Describes his style as methodical. And in the current meta, he just wants to speed tune all of his units pretty well. And we've seen some pretty well tuned speed. Well, he definitely has the rooms to do it as well. Yeah. yeah. Looks like Chuffles is not going to waste any time bringing back that Hodam once again that got him the win. You guys like the Sierra followed by the double panda pick? Uh, very similar to the, the last composition. I think it's a good choice. Um, I mean, 
<laughs> those are three really strong monsters for RTA, so anytime you have those three monsters, I think it's a good choice about. But you also want to build up specifically to what you're staring at across the way, and, you know, Chuffles going with the Perna, the Vela Jewel, the Tessarian. Nothing really standing out from Chuffles' side that could potentially give uh, Tiger too much trouble, of course, other than the Hua Dan, but Chuffles showing Eladriel. Eladriel here. for the first time coming out. I think it's it's an interesting pick for everyone he wasn't expecting. Uh, I think Tiger might have taken that Wusa away from him so that he can't stack the double immunity since Tiger is bringing a ton of crowd control by means of two AoE stuns from the uh, Pandas and then the course of a rod uh, with his amazing skill here. So I wonder if he's, that's coming into play. What do you think? Yeah, I, I don't think that Tiger is going to ban up the buzzer. He's got no. too much uh, buff removal from those two Pandas that he doesn't need to worry about that. I think he needs to get rid of that Hua Dam, in my opinion, or or is it's going to be a, lo a long match for that Molong, unfortunately. Tiger's got a lot of damage potential here, depending on the ban, obviously, from Chuffles, does he not? He's he does. He has the Sierra, has the Sierra and the Varad can potentially do damage. Of course, anytime you get a defense break from Tian Lang as well, that's always a good option, but yep. Chuffles now going with a resistance lead. And this is a, though. it's going to be a, a battle for Chuffles. He's got a really <laughs> tanky, supportive team, I would say, that's going to take a while for Tiger to get through. So this might be a long one. Well, buckle up. Chuffles can afford to take perhaps some more risks than his opponent at this point, considering he has the 1-0 lead. And in the early moments... And now as the first couple turns go down, I like the Aladro pick a little bit more because, again, it has that buff removal on turn one. So it kind of helps counteract against the Wusa putting up all those buffs. Yeah. And of course now with, the, with respect to his uh, main revive being at 100% heal revive, uh, you have that aspect of you cannot work down uh, Hodam, right? Because if you take down Hodam, you can get that, you, uh, essentially you could take him out, but of course you're gonna have to deal with him right away and uh, get a revive coming from Eladria, so just a ton of sustainability. For Able to land the Oblivion onto Tian Lang, so any sort of gauge buff isn't going to be hindered, but not like Chuffles has a whole lot of it other than the Velagel, but looks like it might get frozen right here. Decides not to go with the third skill from Tiger. Yeah, trying to take advantage of that second skill to give Tiger's Tian Lang a little bit more health. I wouldn't detonate the bomb just yet either. I would just keep letting Sierra kind of pummel through, but gets a four-turn stun from Tian Lang, able to take down every single monster, even with that resistance leader from Tassarian. I think it's about time, considering the luck that he has had with some of his uh, pandas and, and those stuns there. Oh, Tiger looking really good now, able to land a bomb and start dealing some damage onto that Hua Dam. And Chuffles wow. knew it just like that. There was no wow. way of coming back to it. Tiger had definitely had the upper hand. As Not every day that you see four units hanging out there deciding to wave the white flag, but obviously Chuffles, consummate professional, understands the implications of the build and the pick and ban, knew exactly what he was up against, and so he decides to get on with it as Tiger able to level it at one apiece. Not premature. I mean, obviously for those watching, they might think, come on, man, play it out. What's going on? I mean, it really was going to be impossible at that point for Chuffles, given that Tiger's going to execute perfectly, obviously. Right. Right. Yeah, and you would expect him to at this point yeah. of the game, is, yeah. of course. But now Chuffles getting the first turn. Of course, they're going to keep going back and forth until yep. the final round. If they get to a fifth round, that'll be decided by a coin toss. And Chuffles And I like that wrinkle, by the way, because yeah. it obviously helps to ensure that there's a little bit more of the skill, a little bit less of the RNG luck factor, Definitely. at least in the pick-ban phase. Definitely. And we've seen Sierra picked first now in all three games so far. And Perna picked to counteract the uh, the Sierra in all, th all three games as well. Yeah, yeah, every single time. Tiger's looking to sit back here, taking his time. Looking at what Chuffles has laid out. The Sierra, Praha, and Tassarium. Double Panda. Is it coming? It's like a two-item combo. You can't <laughs> get the minute. broccoli beef without the orange chicken, guys. You understand how this works. Yeah. Oh, not oh, just yet. He's waiting. Or maybe you can. Maybe he's <laughs> taking a page out of my book that I was trying to say, waiting for that Tian Lang. Let, let Chuffles decide what he's going to pick and then throw Tian Lang out at the very end. Will he do it? Ooh. Oh, I don't know. That yeah. Chuffles pick between Amelia and Camilla. Man, those are going to be two tough monsters to take down with the 
the monster that the tiger are showing right now, it's, it's not going to be an easy task. No, it isn't. That uh, Amelia providing that passive will uh, is going to be a nice component to counter what we're going to be currently seeing from Hafid, but let's, let's, not, let's not get it twisted now. We got the Water Panda, Molong, and Village Oak going to be providing some buff removal so they can take it out. And the fifth pick from Tiger there? Vivashell, his, Vivashell. his favorite, favorite monster, yep. like you said Dark there earlier, Ali. And yeah, Dark Heart Magician. The first LD Nat 5 that we've seen from, actually, no, we've seen the Tian Lang, but now yeah. we see a different one this game. Well, he's LD Nat 5 rich. <laughs> yeah. And so, was it Segment that uh, got banned there by Shuffle? Hathor. Or Hathor. Hathor, 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 Hathor on a Tiger's side, and then Shuffle's had his Amelia banned, which Amelia is so strong, almost banned every single game that we've seen so far. All right, before we get going from the pick standpoint, Nod goes to? Uh, I like Tiger right now. I like Tiger right now. I love that Vivid Show pick, considering that he does not have, Shovel does not have the Hodam in there, but uh, Praha does have a good heal. Wow, unbelievable Whoa. hit on that Tiger. Ouch. Taking out Lethal. the Siren. Now he has an option to use his third skill, but of course, with regards to the attack bars versus health right now, he wants to go ahead and hold it back and take his time. You saw the devastation on Shuffles as he had to take a step back after that Perna did so much damage. And I think even now with Camila being such a strong monster, Molong and Vivichel really counterplay the Camila very nicely. Yep. Vivichel, if she gets an opportunity to put that third skill in, reduce the health, and then have Molong follow through with a reckless assault, we can see a quick match here from Camila, which is one of those units that is really, really hard to take down. And Tiger's got to be really careful here of when he uses both of those two skills because we've seen him try to use it in the past and it hasn't worked out very well for him because he hasn't timed it very well. Against Tedens, he was using it at the wrong time when Chasun was able to heal him back up, so he's got to be careful again in this one. Unfortunately, there was a bomb that got landed onto Molong. Able to land a double bomb now, it looks like. Is he going to do it? He is, and he should be able to kill Molong right here. And Ooh. it stays alive. Unfortunately, it's not going to be alive for too much longer, but Perna might be able to sneak in there, get it a little bit more HP. Yeah, sometimes it's a matter of just those couple of extra turns you might able you might be able to squeeze out that can be the difference. Yeah, and there you have it. You did see it right there. Perna providing a little bit of heal to keep him alive, despite what looked to be Molong's last life. Is he going to use the first turn? No, he decides to just play it safe, use the second turn or second skill from Camila and just nail it down. That Vivichel unable to really play too much of a factor in this game because the attack bars every single time it's up to uh, to move it's just not in the right position for Tiger. Right. Kind of anticipate that consider we know that Shuffles has just some crazy fast monsters here you know one of the things that he made a, a point with regards to Tedens, Tedens has a little bit slower runes uh, on his aspect here so that's that kind of threw his game off here but of course uh, Shuffles bringing it to it today but uh, unfortunately here it's not looking to be in his favor this match. Well a huge crit from Perna on the Praha Praha able to heal up now, and I think Chuffles is still in a good position, but Wait here we go, Wait exactly what we were talking about previously, where Tiger needs to play that very, very carefully. I think he's got it now, and he's oh. able to take out yeah. the Praha, but still, don't count out Chuffles. He is able to get the, Turn it down. the second proc there now, and all he's got to do is take out that Vivichel before he gets that skill up once again. We'll have to wait and see. He definitely needs to go for the Vivichel. Vivichel is going to be the one to really, uh, you know, push back that health. Good amount of damage there. Yeah. I think Shuffles may have this one. But a nice heal from Vivichel into a Violent proc as well. And then another attack gauge boost from Veljewel. And that Vivichel is one turn away, and there it is. But he's got to save it. He's got to save it. Can't use it right now. He's got to wait till that attack bar is a little bit lower and there it is he's got to use it right now and tiger goes up two games to one or or is it wait a second we need to see those big crits from village oh village didn't get the crit we're getting some additional there's a from violent Russell. proc from camilla is he able to get back into the game 
Going for the damage instead of the heal. Oh. But he gets the oh. Violent Proc and oh, yeah, Zafalo is able to take the win against Tiger. What a turn of events. You thought it was almost over, but of course it could have gone one way or another. Yeah, it was and tense for a minute. You see Chuffle's <laughs> face. He realizes exactly what he's managed to accomplish here. That one Violent Proc. That's why you build your Camilla on Violent, of course. There it is. And it's funny because Camilla is one of those controversial monsters that was interesting. They, they used it a lot early on in the arc game act, and then people kind of stayed away from it. Now we're seeing it a little bit back here. Maybe he's bringing it back into the meta. Did you call that one a little early, Clay? I did, I did, and I regretfully say it. Ye of little wrong. faith, my friend. But I feel like Tiger may have made just a small misplay. Of course, he went for a little extra damage on the Camilla instead of giving himself a heal. But would you have called it a misplay in advance or only because of the way things played out? Of course, there was a couple violent talks that made it play out a little bit more in Chuffle's favor. But I think that... Given the odds, I would have liked to have seen the heal from Tiger in that situation. Just to insulate him from exactly what went down with the RNG, giving him the violent proc. You got it. Those violent procs are something else, I tell you. And just as we suspected, it's a fight for Sierra throughout this entire final match here in New York. And down goes the Tian Lang along with Tessarian. And Chuffles answers back, of course, with the Perna Veldrol pick, as we've seen so many times. So now Tiger really does have his back against the wall. Down two to one in the best of five. Cannot afford to lose this game. Otherwise, he is going to lose this tournament altogether. Two chuffles. Yeah, this is this is it. This could be the final match that we're. By the way, what a nice piece of frosting on an already pretty sick cake that Chuffle, uh, that Chuffles has baked himself by defeating Sin Booty, Asian Republic, and Goku on his way here to really finish it off with Tiger. Would would. To me, crown him a very legitimate champ of the, the New York regionals. Absolutely. And I don't think there's, there's not a whole lot of surprises here. Of course, Sin Booty was the one that he needed to get, to get through first. But Chuffles being one of the lesser favorites, but still a favorite nonetheless. Yeah, well, we, you know, we checked in with him and he talked about what it's like to be an underdog at times. You know, he knows he's good, but he's not expected to win. Hey, here he is, just one game away from winning this thing. As he's got one pick left here in the draft, and we're seeing a lot of the same stuff, although that looks to be a new pick. Actually, Chuffles has laid this out quite a bit. Some of the times it's been getting banned. He hasn't been able to see it play out after the pick advantage, but yes, it's an amazing monster. Ethna, the Wind Hell Lady, has a unique third skill, being able to remove some beneficial effects as well as stun. If the uh, life is under 30%, it's a guaranteed stun. Uh, outside of that, it's going to be a higher percent chance of stun, not be able to lock it down. He hasn't played it in this match yet, though. No, I do not. Not this fight yeah. against Tiger. However, it is a very, very fast monster for Chuffles. He yeah. has it ruined extremely fast. I don't know whether it's on Swift or Despair or what set it's on, but I'm sure we'll see it today. We'll definitely see it. However, Chuffles has to be careful because he has two monsters that are very susceptible to Saurian. So if Tiger is able to land that Oblivion onto one of those two monsters, whether it's Perna or I would say. Guadam would be the first one that would go after with that Oblivion, mm -hmm. and then combo it with Molong and Sierra. That would be what he's looking to do. There we go. Perna is ready to go. Trying to take that Tessarian out, doing a little bit of damage, but we got to be cautious. The Oblivion is in. But he still has the Huadam to protect Perna, so he's not out just yet with that Perna. But of course, he needs to start going after that Tessarian. Once he gets Tessarian down, He's in a good position, but without taking that starting down, it could go either way still. Right, 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 definitely. The will is off of Wadam now. Now full HP on Molong. Is he going to go for it? He does not. He decides to keep the Reckless Assault for another turn. I like the play on that, definitely. Praha able to take out all of the buffs, however, leaving Perna su super susceptible, of course, because he got the Oblivion, landed on Huadam, and I think that might, that, that might have been the deciding factor kill. of the entire game right now. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but as we see right there, Despair stun all over the place. We have confirmed <laughs> it is, in fact, a fast Despair Ethna there. 100% confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> for Team Stun from Ethna on skill two there. That's amazing to see. And unfortunately, did not get the stun there on Wusa. 
believe Raha has her heal up. Does he go ahead and use it up? No, he tries to work down to Tasanya. But again, with Tasanya being able to follow through, I can see why. Are we going to get another 14 stem? We do not. Just Wusa this time. Yep. Gets the heal this time, just in the nick of time. All right. Looks like uh, Tiger is going to be trying to work down the Huadam. We're going to see her land a bomb on the Ethna there. Or no, not the. Uh, on the Huadam there. Huadam, Huadam. Huadam, yeah. Trying to get a couple of additional defense breaks in so Tessarian can follow through. Looks like the revenge set is sitting on Tessarian. Now trying to work down Ethna. Shuffles being able to get one out of the four units stunned, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. I don't think so at this point, especially with the bomb already on Huadam, and then Ethna not able to land as many stuns as she did the first time, of course. That would be almost too good to be true, but I think Tiger's got this one in the bag, and Shuffles knows it as well and decides to bring it to Round five here for the final. As you predicted. Hey, you thank you. Thank you very <laughs> much. Round five. Again, I think this is what the fans want. A little bit going back and forth. Despite the hype that came around Tiger, Chuffles is an amazing opponent, and I'm really excited to got to that. Uh, guys, let's be fair. Both of these folks would have had no problem sweeping their opponents 3-0 if they had the chance. Unfortunately, they're so good at adapting. They're so well aware of one another that it's just tough to put something to work that doesn't get countered in the very next game when you end up losing. It's gone back and forth, two games apiece. This, the fifth and deciding game. Shuffles winning the coin toss he and did. getting the first pick here through Sierra. And then, of course, we do see the Perna pick right back into the Sierra as well, along with Tessarian right off the bat from Tiger. What do you think about that, Childish? I like it. They're going back and forth with regards to what they pick. So... Uh, we'll have to see, though, what he decides to lay out just yet. Of course, e either way, these, these initial picks are great, but after they lay them out, this is what I like to see. Are they going to play into the other opponent's perspective of what, what they're using, or are they going to stick to what has done them some wins early on in the, the uh, tournament? You know, I really like the choice picking Tessarian early because yeah. that's a huge counter to Perna, of course, and, of course, Chuffles most likely would have picked it if, if Tiger didn't take that away from him. So... Uh, we do see now the Tian Lang and Hathor combination dropping down now from Tiger. And Amelia almost a 100% ban. Tiger does not like to fight against Amelia by any means. So I like that decision from Chuffles just to give Tiger something to think about. Yeah, the passive immunity is pretty strong. It also brings a defense buff for the team, which back in the day was not something that people considered, that defensive mechanic. Super strong in the later stages of the game. Going back to the, uh, the Camila here from Chuffles and leaving Tiger to decide his fifth and final monster going into this grand finale here. Predictions on this first one, Clay? No, you're not allowed to ask for predictions, <laughs> I'm allowed to Childish, because you I'm never, allowed. ever want to go out on that limb. Hey, you predict something. But I had to say it first, otherwise you're going to say it, and I'm going to be like, mm, <laughs> no, I had to throw it out there. So what's your prediction? <laughs> Tiger not going to be able to put both those pandas to work as the ban is in. I think Shuffles got it. That's my prediction. Okay. Well, as much as I love Shuffles, I like to go up against Clay. So my man is Tiger to take it down. Oh, just don't be a contrarian for the sake of being <laughs> I'll tell a contrarian. You what. Look at the picks. I, the picks are strong. I like, it, I like it, advantage Chuffles, say it. Advantage Chuffles right now. Advantage Chuffles, but go Tiger. And wow. by the way, what a statement this would be for the community if Chuffles is able to get through a guy like Tiger who has made such a significant investment. A lot of people out there have their opinions about, you know, the, the rune quality and all of this. As Clay, you got to look on your face. What do we see? Chuffles just missed the bomb on Mo Long, leaving it available, but Mo Long... Just has the same bad luck as Sierra did. Unfortunately, not able to remove a single immunity buff from Chuffle's team. And now... So a wash there, pretty level. Pretty level, pretty level. there so far. A couple violent procs there from Perna. Chuffle's now answering back, going right after that Perna. Does get a violent proc from Sierra as well. Molong now going to be taking the reckless assault. Is he going to use it onto Velgil or is he going to save it for Camilla? I think he really needs to save it for Camilla. 
Otherwise, that panda is going to be down for the rest of the match. Chuffles, I think, liked that choice from Tiger and advantage Chuffles. Yeah, okay. It, it definitely seems the way to be, but let's, let's, let's wait to the very end. Drop that bomb on Hathor right there. There we go. Oh, no. Besides oh, not Saren. do that. The Saren with the defense. But why, why not take Hathor there? What's, what's the logic for Chuffles? No, he, lo he lost the immunity, know. so uh, you know that would be a great thing to do, considering no immunity. Hathor is going to be able to really uh, crowd control his team, and that seems to be the bigger challenge for Chuffles in his path to victory. As we see Hathor getting put to work right here and well, sleeps two of three. No, I take that back because I understand what Ch um, what Chuffles did now is because the Cesarian is the only monster that can really take out Camilla. Camilla is so strong right now. As long as he right. takes out Cesarian. He's golden. So it's a preemptive strike looking to defend Camila, make sure she's in play. He gets the Saiyan down, he just won himself an extra thousand bucks. Yep, there it is. Yeah, that forget the crystals. The crystals too, the crystals of course. Of but a couple of violent procs now, getting that HP back onto Mo Long, of course. Is he going to be able to hit it now? He does. Gets the violent proc from Camila. Is he going to do a little bit more damage onto... No, he decides to switch the wow. damage to Perna. But the Oblivion is in. Oblivion's down onto Camilla, unfortunately. This is this could be devastating for Chuffles if he ends up losing his Camilla. Well, Sierra's out of the picture. And I'm surprised to see maybe him not using a second skill. Remember, the Oblivion is set on Camilla, so if he lands a stun on Camilla... It's not going to be able to, uh, you know, get out of that with regards to his passive. Cesarian absorbing that bomb. And I think it might be, I think Tiger might got this one now. Might have this one now. Here comes a reckless assault to take it out. Camila is oh, down, and I there believe it is. we can give it to Tiger. Yeah, yeah. Chuffles is taking off the headset. He understands what just happened. As Tiger is your 2017 Summoner's War Championship Series New York Regional. Victor. What an exciting match. Yeah, that was a heck of a match, guys. I mean, exciting match. <laughs> you see Chuffles in there. You know, you know I almost had you, right? You know, because yeah. I almost had you. Exactly you what it Because if you didn't take the Camila <laughs> out. Respect. <laughs> but interesting, as you guys reflected on his choice to drop the bomb onto Sarian as opposed to taking out the Hathor, who eventually played a role. It was his desire to protect that Camila, which was so instrumental in his approach to victory. When he was down three to four, it still looked good. Still looked Just great. didn't close, wasn't able to bring it home. But as you saw, that Oblivion debuff going down on Camilla, that was, that was it. That Unfortunately, was Chuffles couldn't recover from it. He couldn't get the violent procs back from Camilla to remove that Oblivion. And that Tiger kind of sealed the deal at that point. And Childish, this is big for the community because there's some like indestructibility that a lot of people had assigned to Tiger, you know, given the rune quality, given the monster box, given all those LD Nat 5s. And he had shown that he can be beat in any, you know, in any given game. Now, he didn't get beat in any matches, but obviously if you can string a couple of those games together, now you're able to, to move forward and get past him. He went to the final match in every right. single one of his fights. Right, and who would have predicted that? Not a single person, I think, would have expected that he wasn't going to have at least one sweep. Yeah. Yep. Pretty good stuff. Okay. I'll tell you what, though, Chuffles has really earned my respect. What about you, Childish? Well, most definitely. I, I've obviously, we've been talking about him quite a bit here. Um, this is definitely going to be really, really good for the community. Just to go to show that anybody can uh, come around and, and get it done. All right. We are ready to send it down to the arena where it's time to hand out the awards. two third place finishers along with the champ and the runner up as Maria will pass out the hardware. Goku and Howie also with a couple of really good showings. And runner up Chuffles a guildmate of the champ, the pre-tournament favorite, Tiger. Those are good-looking medals, guys. Mm -hmm. we, brought the, we brought the heat. <laughs> a little bit more. Here comes your checks for second and first place.
Chester's Field is going to be taking all of us out to a steak dinner tonight. If we can catch them before they leave the building. Tiger, you just defeated your best friend, Chuffles. It was a hard-fought battle. We really enjoyed watching you. But what does it mean to you to be the champion of the New York Regionals? You're going to Worlds, obviously, but this title, playing against the best in this game. Uh, it means a lot for me. I never imagined that. Uh, right now, I, I, I'm very excited about that. It's, this feeling is awesome, especially, you know, the... The last, last match I did with Truffles, uh, I got some good RNG and I got a lo lot of luck involved. Yeah, that's, I think that's the reason why I beat him. Thank you. All of you guys gave us quite the show. Congratulations. All right, I can hardly believe we got through it as quickly as we did. It was blazing saddles, despite the fact that Tiger had to go to the final game in all of his matches. but. We took 16 players down to an eventual champion. It is the pre-tournament favorite, but what were the takeaways for you guys so far as we're looking back on the bracket here and, and everything that we saw? What were the most memorable moments for you? I mean, it, I think it all starts at that Chuffles versus Sin Booty competition. Uh, Chuffles fought hard throughout the entire match and was able to take him down. And going in there, he still had a hard road throughout his entire uh, yeah. tournament today. He was battle-tested at every stage. There was no layups whatsoever. And, and Tiger, too, on, this, yeah. on the other side. Yeah, I mean, being fair, you know, certainly it's not like anybody's a pushover. Tiger, so dominant. I mean, I do think it is fair to say that the path to the finals was a little more difficult for Chuffles than it was for Tiger, taking nothing away from anybody who was uh, in the path uh, for Tiger as well. Childish, what, what were your takeaways for the tournament? My thought was not so much specifically one person, but just overall in this tournament here, a lot of these matches went to the third match. So again, a lot of going back and forth, learning the strategies, trying mm -hmm. to counter what the other opponent is bringing. I, it, I just love that aspect there, just learning back and forth and just trying to use your immediate uh, situation and uh, take down your opponent. As the knowledge continues to be disseminated, people in the community have a chance to watch some of these streams, and obviously they get more and more tournaments under their belt against one another. More parity begins to emerge in the field. But with all that said, pre-tournament favorite Tiger, still the victor here, heading to Los Angeles on November 25th for the Worlds, along with Chuffles. And of course, we had several qualifiers from around the world who are going to be joining those boys. Everybody giving a shout out to Tiger. A humble and gracious victor. And there are the folks that will be joining Chuffles and Tiger. Barry and, and Sai, along with the China qualifiers from Taiwan, Shallot XST, Zero from Hong Kong, Two Love O from Southeast Asia region, and of course, Tiger and Chuffles. Guys, it has been a real pleasure pleasure to uh, bring all of this action to you. We certainly thank all of you who stuck with us on Twitch for the stream. And there it is. Circle that date on your calendar while you're enjoying your leftover turkey and mashed potatoes. We will be bringing you the Summoner's War World Championships from Los Angeles. And before we sign off, guys, I wanted to, there was a point that I was touching on real briefly about Tiger and a lot of people, you know, there's some of that hate out there about he spent so much money on the game, his room quality is so good and this and that. I think what was proven here today is that you can still compete with folks who are like that. Don't just sign off. Don't make excuses. You can still beat the best out there, uh, which was proven. Everybody took a game off of Tiger. 100% agree. All Absolutely. Right. Cool. Good news. So uh, any, uh, any last thoughts? Anything else, Childish? Where are we going to dinner? Uh, I don't know. We're, We're getting steak dinner on the guild. Come I, on. Yeah, Delicious, yeah. Delicious is going to be taking us. <laughs> I, I guess I got to put it out. leaving. <laughs> I just want to put it out there for everybody that's supporting us uh, across the world, all the people that tuned in this morning uh, with regards to the tournament out there in Europe and Paris. Thank you guys so much for your support. It means the world to us uh, for this game going on three years now. I couldn't be more excited to where it is at today. Yeah, and shout out to everybody who actually made their way to New York and, and hung out, started lining up at a quarter to six in the morning to enjoy this stuff live. Hopefully those of you streaming can make your way to one of our areas uh, and regionals at some point in time so that you can get involved as well as we get a look at those figurines. Some lucky folks are going to be taking home as well. On behalf of Childish and Claytano, I'm Ali Najad saying so long from New York. We'll see you in a few weeks' time from Los Angeles. Take it easy, everybody. <laughs>